recording. Okay, so the rules for adding integers. Rule number one, if the signs are the same, you will add, add, and keep the sign. Keep the sign. So, I mean, if we want to really break this down, if the signs are the same, I'm going to highlight same, okay? If the signs are the same, you're going to add and keep the sign. You're going to add and keep the sign if they're the same, okay? You will literally be using this rule 8th grade, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade, when you go to college, you will literally be using this rule. This rule you will use forever in your math career. Some of the stuff that I teach you in seventh grade, you won't be using only, you'll just be using in seventh grade, but this you'll be using forever. All right, for example, if I have negative five plus negative six, check the signs. These are the signs. You see how they're both negative? So if they're both negative, you're going to add. add. What do you get? 11. 11, and then you keep the sign. Oh, my sign is negative, so you keep it. You're writing this down, right? Yeah. All of it. Okay, you're not choosing what to write. You're writing all of it. So if it's negative 68, plus negative 14, you check the signs first, okay? What's my first number? Negative. You shouldn't be on your iPad, that's for sure. They're both negative, right? So what do you do if they're both negative? They're both negative, they're the same, so you're going to add them. Yeah, so you add, you get 82, and they're both negative, so you keep it a negative, okay? That's it, we're good? Now, of course, if it's like two plus two, which you learned in elementary school, right? Yeah. What they didn't tell you is, well, they're both positive, so you add them and you keep it a positive. Okay, so don't do anything funny with the easy ones. So if they're both negative, you add and keep the sign. We're okay? That's part rule number one. All right, rule number two. If the signs are different you will what do you do if the signs are different so if I have if I have negative 10 plus 5 what do you end up doing mathematically subtracting, subtracting. so if the signs are different you will subtract oh that should have been in purple oh well this is in purple. So if the signs are different, you will subtract. And, okay, this is where I get really mad at some math teachers. Okay, and this is not gonna make, okay. And ask yourself, what do you have more of? Oh, I forgot to do something. Oh, no. Oh, man. It's going to impact everything. Okay. If the signs are different, you will subtract and ask yourself, what do you have more of? What does that mean? What do you have more of? Yeah, like here, I'm gonna subtract, right? What's 10 minus five? Five, and then what do you have more of? Negatives or positives? Negative. Negatives. So my answer is negative. This goes back to drawing them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five. Oh, you have more negatives left over, hence your answer is negative. All right, but I took this away from you. 
but you can think about this when you're doing problems like this. So when I tell you what, or ask you, what do you have more of? This is what I mean. Like, do you have more negatives or do you have more positive? There are some teachers that teach it this way, which is mathematically incorrect. They'll ask you, which one's bigger? Keep the sign of the bigger number. Is negative 10 bigger? No. no, but they'll tell you that. And if you ever get a teacher that tells you that, that's math mathematically incorrect. They'll be like, oh yeah, the sign is, which one's bigger? And it's like, well, technically this is actually not bigger, right? But I hear teachers, even here, unfortunately, say that. And it's like, wait, that, that's mathematically not correct. But you know, I am not gonna teach you that. I'm gonna teach you what do you have more of. So for example, <sighs> negative eight plus six. Are the signs the same or different? different? They're different. This one's a negative and this one's a positive. So you're going to subtract, subtract and you get negative two. negative two. The reason it's negative, Jesus, is because you have way more negatives. Okay, two more negatives. All right, negative 75 plus 100. Positive or negative? Positive. 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 We're good? We're we okay? Okay. Yeah, because there's a hundred positives and there's only 75 negatives. Even though that's a lot, hundred beats it. It's like a tug of war. You got a hundred positive players and 75 negative players. The positive side's gonna win, so. Yeah. Okay, Achilles, let's not talk about that. All right, okay? So literally, you'll be using these rules for the rest of your math career. Okay. Even if your degree is not anything to do with math, in college you'll take a math class and you'll end up dealing with positive negatives. Are we okay? That's fine. I'm okay, exactly. You're okay. That's all that matters.